So now let us see what is there in this question. What is the energy equivalent to the mass of one proton? So uh, we want to find the energy equivalent for the mass of one proton. So there are multiple methods of doing this thing. So we can go for like uh, the energy equivalent is E is equal to mc square. We can substitute the mass value in kgs and the speed of the light can be taken as 3 into 10 power 8 in meter per second. And uh, we would be getting the answer in joule. And then we can uh, compare our answer here, like uh, whether uh, are we getting the similar answers or not. But that is one way of doing it. And that is not uh, uh, the method that they are using it. Because the way they are writing it, like 9.338 does not occur from this equation at all. Have you ever seen something related with 9.3 or something? I tell you. Uh, one AMU mass, atomic mass unit, when this is converted into energy, it results in 931.5 mega electron volt, which can be written as 931.5 mega can be written as 10 raised to power 6. EV will be written as 1.6 10 to power negative 19 and the units will be joule. So this kind of similar thing is happening here. So in B and in D. So the possibility is that they are basically using this method. But they are using 938 and we are using 931. Why is that? I tell you. This is energy equivalent for the mass of 1 AMU. But what is the mass of 1 proton? Is it 1 AMU? No. It is more than 1 AMU. It is, uh, if I remember it exactly, uh, 1.007275. I'm not sure about this. Something like that is there. So this is this much of the AMU is the mass of one proton. Obviously, it is more than one AMU. And so there will be slight variation in the energy. So instead of having 931.5, you, you could be having 9.38, isn't it? Like 938. So this uh, is just the variation of the decimal that we can move this decimal here. So if you move this decimal here, it will come out to be 9.315 into 10 raised to power 8 into 1.6 into 10 power negative 19 joule. This is 1 AMU. So our answer should be D from that point of view. You see 10 raised to power 8 is here and the charge elementary charge is also written here and the value is slightly more than 9.31. It becomes 9.38. Why so? Because the mass of proton is actually more, a slightly more than 1 AMU. So it will be more than 931, isn't it? So that is why the answer should be D. Well, if you remember this, because this data, uh, I think either it will be given in your data book. It must be given in the data book that you can verify. Otherwise, you need to remember the mass of proton and the mass of neutron in AMU. Okay. If you remember that, you can use this value here. You can find those values accordingly. Uh, but still, you can guess that, yes, the answer will be D. So this is how we do this question. And let us verify what is the answer given in the mark scheme. My answer is D. And yes, you can see the answer here given is D. So this is how we do this question, my dear student. This is Professor Varun. Thanks for joining. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel and join the YouTube channel if you want to access all the paper two questions. All the best. Bye.